A bag contains eight white balls and two black balls. Aubrey is going to pick two balls at random, and we're going to try to determine what her expected value is. Here are the, here are the rules, though. She will win $5 if she does not pick a black ball at all. In other words, she'll win $5 if all of hers are white. So we're trying to determine what's the expected value. And again, the goal is not to pick a black ball. If she does not pick a single black ball, then she will win $5. Okay, so if she doesn't pick a black ball, that means all of her balls are going to be white that she chooses. So the expected value is going to be 5. That's where we get our 5 right here. She's going to win $5 if she can pick just white balls. So the probability that she's going to pick the first ball that she picks is going to be white is, let's see, there's 8 white balls, 10 total, 2 black and 8 white. So the probability that she's going to pick a white ball is going to be 8 tenths. Okay, 10 balls total, 8 tenths. So 5 times 8 tenths will, t will be the expected value if she only picked one ball and it was not black. But on this one, she's got to pick two different ones. So if she chooses the first one, um, her probability was 8 tenths. If she chooses that one, she's going to hold on to that. She's not going to put it back. It doesn't make sense to. She's already picked a winner. The second one, now how many balls are left in there? Well, there are no longer 8 balls in there. There are now 7 balls uh, that are white and a total of 9 balls in there. Okay, there are only 9 left. She had 10, but then she just chose this one. So now she has seven white balls and nine total. So we're going to multiply that by the probability that the second one, uh, uh, the probability of pulling a white one out of the second one, which would be seven ninths. So the expected value, this is, we're choosing two of them. We're going to multiply whatever the dollar amount is that she's going to win. In this case, it's five times the probability that she's going to pull the first one be white, then multiply that by the probability that the second one will be white. And she's going to keep it. There would be no make no sense to put it back because her goal is to get only white one. So then we just plug that into our calculator. You end up with the expected value of 3.11. She's expected to win, uh, if she does this numerous times, uh, $3.11 over the lifetime that she plays this game.